Hey guys, Charmaine here. So I just wanted to film a video on how to get beachy waves with a flat iron. This one is going to be just a little bit different than the video that I did years and years ago. Um, so this is the look that you're going to get and if you want to see how to get it then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to use the Paul Mitchell Nero flat iron and this has a little bit wider of plates. Um, I think they're like an inch and a quarter, so that's going to give you slightly bigger curls, which is why it's really good for waving with. Um, I like that it has a digital display, so it tells you exactly what temperature you're using. <clears throat> Since my hair's, um, you know, fully bleached out, I usually keep it on no higher than 360. Um, anything higher than that is really just creating more damage. So keep the temperature as low as possible while still getting the results that you want. <clears throat> so that's heated up. So I'm going to section my hair off above my ears and I'm just going to use a butterfly clip to keep that out of my face and I'm going to alternate my sections. So I'm going to take my first section and you want this section to be about as wide as the plates of your flat iron. So I'm just going to pull that straight out and clamp it together and I'm going to rock the flat iron back and forth. And I usually always try to end that last little bit of hair with a flip out. Now the piece right beside of this, I'm going to do just a traditional flat iron curl. So just one full rotation of the iron and then just pull it all the way through. Alright, and then I'm going to take my next section right beside of that and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first section. And this is just going to give you a little bit more of a natural type of wave. So, move over to this side. Once you get to a point where you can't really reach anymore, um, just go ahead and switch sides. And I'm curling these back away from my face. Okay, so that's the whole bottom section. Um, so my sections are about an inch, inch and a half long. So right kind of to the recession points in my hairline. And then since I started this one out doing the waves back and forth, I'm going to turn this one just away from my face. So you see that gives more of like a long dangly curl, whereas this is going to give more of a wave. And if some of it falls out of the flat iron um, while you're in the middle of the curl, that's okay. It's actually just going to give you a little bit more of a straight end, which I like that little bit of pieciness and separation anyway. Makes it a little bit more random that way.
and just make sure that you're combing through your sections before you pull the flat iron through them. Um, it's going to keep it from getting any kind of kinks and then if you pull the flat iron over a section that has a tangle, it's going to kind of cement that tangle in. And I kind of go based on fill, so if I fill the back and everything feels like it's been covered, um, that's how I determine. <clears throat> and then at the end, I'll just go through and check the mirror and make sure. So since my hair's parted on this side, I'm going to split this into one more section. Okay, again with this section, I am going to start with the curl away from my face. I like the way that looks a little bit better, and then it also keeps it from um, kind of getting on my nerves because it keeps it out of my face a little bit easier. Now, even though this one's right towards my face, since I still have one more right at the front, I'm actually going to wave this one instead of curling it. Just to break it up a little bit. So this one, since it's a little shorter right around my face, I'm not going to give it as much of a curl. I'm just going to kind of flip the ends more or less out just to bump it away from my face. let that cool just a little bit and then I'm going to run my fingers through it. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of the r Co. Vicious Hairspray. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. It's one of the first things that everybody comments on whenever they're in the salon. So I'm just going to kind of tousle through. And this is a slightly firm hold hairspray, um, but it's not matte, so it's not going to make your hair look dull. It's still going to keep it really shiny. And I'm just kind of scrunching with my fingers as I go. And my hair has a tendency to separate a little bit through the back. 
So that's why generally I'll stop my part a little bit closer to the front and then pull all of this back. Sometimes I'll tease it a little bit um, if I have a really, really strong part. But when I'm blow drying, I just make sure to concentrate the airflow back and really kind of lift this so that it has some volume through that crown section. And then I always use dry shampoo the first day that I wash my hair um, just to maintain, you know, the cleanliness of it. So it prevents oil and then it also is going to give a little bit of texture and grit. So I already have some of that in um, and I use the Aquage dry shampoo, which I love. So that is going to be it for waving with the flat iron. I hope you guys like this look. It's a little bit different than the last video that I did which was years ago, um, you can definitely go through and instead of doing the waves like back and forth, um, just turn the, turn the iron the opposite direction and curl towards your face and then just alternate towards and away, towards and away and that will give you a different kind of curl. Um, this is something that I've just started doing in the last couple of days and I just like how tousled it is and then that keeps the ends a little bit more straight um, and really gives you that beachy look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, all of the social media outlets. And if you have requests for videos, definitely just drop those in the comments below. Thanks for watching.